they were imposed on us without our will, without our wish. They were undemocratic. They were not participatory. They were against the majority will of the people of our continents. Whether it is the Portuguese here in Mozambique or the British in Kenya, these were wills that were imposed on our people without their consent. Our position is that undemocratic, unconstitutional imposition of the will of any government of whatever nature on the people without their consent is wrong the same way colonialism was wrong. William Kipchilchil Samoy Alap Ruto, born 21st December 1966, is a Kenyan politician who since 13th September 2022 has been serving as the 50th president of Kenya. Prior to becoming president, he served as the first elected deputy president of Kenya from 2013 to 2022. Previously, holders of the position were referred to as vice president and the office holder was unelected and appointed by the president. He previously served in three cabinet portfolios as the Minister of Home Affairs, the Minister of Agriculture and a Minister for Higher Education. Ruto was elected member of parliament for Eldoret North constituency from 1997 to 2007 under the Kanu and 2007 to 2013 through the ODM party. He was the Minister for Home Affairs in the Daniel Alap Moy administration from August to December 2002. Under the Moy Kibaki administration, he was the Minister for Agriculture from 2008 to 2010 and the Minister for Higher Education from April to De October 2010. Ruto ran for the deputy presidency in the 2013 elections under the United Republican Party, becoming the running mate of Uhulu Kenyatta from the National Alliance. He was re-elected the deputy presidency under the Jubilee Party in the 2017 Kenyan general elections. Ruto successfully ran for the presidency in the 2022 election, this time under the United Democratic Alliance. Amidst a fallout, Kenyatta supported his opponent, Lilo Dinga. The election was marred by allegations of electoral fraud by allies of Odinga, although international observers have not corroborated such claims. A member of the Kalajin people of the Lift Valley province, William Ruto was born in Sambut village, Kamagut, Orsingishu County, to Daniel Cheruliot and Sarah Cheruliot. Ruto started his education at Kamagut Primary School, then transferred to Kelolate Primary School, both situated within the Uasin Gishu County, and he sat for his certificate of primary school at the latter. He then proceeded to Waleng Secondary School still in Uasin Gishu County and later Kapsabate High School in Nandi County, where he obtained his ordinary level and advanced level education, respectively. He then enrolled at the University of Nairobi to study botany and zoology, graduating in 1990 with a bachelor's degree in science. He went on to complete a master's in plant ecology also from the University of Nairobi. The following year, after his graduation, he enrolled for a PhD at the same university and after several setbacks, he completed and graduated on 21st December 2018 with a PhD from the University of Nairobi. Ruto authored several papers including a paper titled Plant Species, Diversity and Composition of Two Wetlands in the Nairobi National Park, Kenya. During his time in the campus for his 
undergraduate education. Ruto was an active member of the Christian Union. He also served as the chairman of the university met President Daniel Arab Moyi, who would later introduce him to politics during the 1992 general elections. Graduating from the University of Nairobi in 1990, Ruto was employed as a temporary teacher in the North Lift Valley of Kenya from 1990 to 1992, where he was also a leader of the local church choir, the Africa Inland Church. Ruto began his political career when he became the treasurer of the YK92 campaign group that was roaring for the early erections of President Moi in 1992, from which he learned the basics of Kenyan politics. Ruto ran for a parliamentary seat in the 1997 general election. He surprisingly beat the incumbent Ruben Chazili. Moyi's preferred candidate, as well as the Wasingishu Kano branch chairman and assistant minister. After this, he would later gain favor with Moyi and be appointed Kano director of elections. His strong support in 2002 for Moyi's preferred successor Uhuru Kenyatta saw him get a place as assistant minister in the Home Affairs Ministry. Later in that elections, when some government ministers resigned to join the opposition, he was promoted to full cabinet minister. In 2005, Kenya held a referendum on a new constitution which Kanu opposed. Some members of the ruling NARC coalition government, mainly former Kanu ministers who had joined the opposition coalition in 2002 under the LDP banner and who were disgruntled as the president Kibaki had not honored a pre erection on power sharing and election of prime minister post joined Kanu to oppose the proposed constitution. Since the symbol of the no vote was an orange, this new grouping named their movement the Orange Democratic Movement. Ruto was part of its top blast, dubbed the Pentagon. October 2014, Ruto was appointed acting president of Kenya by then, then President Uhuru Kenyatta following his summons to appear before the ICC. He served in the role between 6th and 9th October 2014 while President Kenyatta was away at the Hogue. When he officially handed over power to Ruto at the parliament on October 6th, Uhuru explained, To protect the sovereignty of the Republic of Kenya, I will sign a legal notice appointing Honorable William Ruto as acting president while I attend the CETAS conference. In the August 2017 general elections, Uhuru and Ruto were declared victors after garnering 54% of the total votes cast. However, the Supreme Court of Kenya nullified the election and a fresh election was held in October 2017. The opposition boycotted the fresh election and Uhulu and Ruto were re-elected with 98% of the total votes cast. The Supreme Court upheld the results of this second election. In December 2020, Ruto announced his alliance with the newly formed United Democratic Alliance Party. He was the only presidential candidate to attend the second part of the 2022 presidential debate. On 15th August 2022, six days after the general election held on 9th August, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Chair Wafula Chebukati announced that Ruto had won the presidential election, defeating candidate Lilo Dinger of the Azimio Laumoja party. Ruto received 50.49% of the valid vote cast, while Odinga received 48.85%. 
Odinga disputed the presidential election results announced by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and he challenged the results with the Supreme Court. On 5th September, the Supreme Court judges anonymously found that Odinga's alliance had presented in inconclusive evidence of its claims that the election was rigged and it upheld the election of Ruto as the president-elect. In response to the ruling, Odinga said he suspected the Supreme Court's decision even though he strongly disagreed with it. On 13th September 2022, he was inaugurated at Moi International Sports Center Kasalani in a ceremony president of pre, presided over by Chief Justice Martha Kome and attended by over 20 heads of state and government. The inauguration day was declared a public holiday. Attendance was very high with groups of the general public crashing with security officials when trying to enter the stadium. The event, however, continued peacefully. Following his inauguration, he officially began his term as president.